And my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servants. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for about three months and then returned home. When it was time for Elizabeth to have her baby, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown her great mercy, and they shared her joy. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him after his father, Zechariah. This is the word of the Lord. He helped a new mom outfit her infant in a tiny designer frock. A year of patiently waiting, and it finally fits, feeling blessed. He graced a colleague with at least 57 Facebook wall postings about her birthday. So blessed for all the love, she wrote, to approximately 900 of her closest friends. God has, in fact, recently blessed my network with dazzling job promotions, coveted speaking gigs, the most wonderful wonderful fiancés ever, front row seats at Fashion Week, and nominations for many a 30 under 30. She goes on to talk about the fact that, that the way we use blessed in our time is more the way that we once would have used the word fortunate or lucky. And one linguist points out that, that 
Blessed is now used as a way of bragging but seeming humble. We talk about blessed in a very different way than what we read about this morning. When we read about Mary being blessed, it isn't something that is for her, her personal benefit. It isn't something that makes her life easy. It isn't something that elevates her relative to her peers. Mary was blessed because she was chosen to bear God's son. And this blessing for Mary meant that she was an unwed mother, or at least had an unwed pregnancy. And so she was talked about, gossiped about. Joseph chose to marry her, and so at least she was not ostracized. But this blessing for Mary also meant that she would see her son grow up to be an outcast, to be homeless, to be betrayed by one of his closest friends, to receive a sham trial and be convicted falsely. This blessing meant that she would stand at the foot of the cross and watch her son die. Not the kind of thing we usually think of putting hashtag blessed by. For Mary, being blessed was not about how what God was doing benefited her. For Mary, being blessed in her words achieves this. She says, my soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. <coughs> For Mary, being blessed meant glorifying God, receiving something that brings God glory and is a benefit to others, as she was able to, to bear the Savior of the world. It's the same thing we read about from Genesis this morning. Abraham was blessed not so that Abraham could feel good about himself. Not so that he could lord it over others. Abraham was blessed in order to be a blessing. Why Abraham? Why Mary? Why Elizabeth? Why all the people we read about being blessed in Scripture? It's not because they're the smartest the wealthiest, the best, the most powerful. We don't know why God chooses to bless them. We don't know why God chooses to bless us. As part of God's inscrutable will. Inscrutable is a word we don't throw around a lot. That recognition that we aren't able always to understand what God is doing. but trust that his will is for our good. God chooses to bless those he chooses to bless. And what makes it a blessing is using it to glorify God, using it to benefit others. Perhaps we can say that about every blessing. Blessings are not those things that we necessarily perceive as good in and of themselves. Blessings are those opportunities that God gives us to participate in what he is doing. Perhaps God doesn't care quite so much about what happens to us as what we do with it. And we are blessed when we use all those things that God brings to us for his glory and for the welfare of others. Do you notice how Elizabeth's blessing was used. Elizabeth was blessed with a child in her old age. And we are told that, that when the baby was born, her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown her great mercy, and they shared her joy. 
Our blessings are not for us. Our blessings are for God. Our blessings are for others. And when that is our focus, we find ourselves truly blessed, just as Mary did. We're in the season of Advent. It's a, a season of preparation. A season for preparing for the coming of our Lord. <laughs> it's a good time for reflecting on the ways that God does come to us. The ways that God blesses us so that we can glorify Him and benefit those around us. So that we can participate in what God is doing. I invite you during the rest of this Advent season to take time to think about how you have been blessed so that you can be a blessing. What God has given you in talents, what God has given you in opportunities, what God has given you in material things that you can use for His glory and the welfare of others. In fact, why don't we take a minute right now to think about the ways in which God has blessed you in this past year and how you might use them for his glory and others welcome. And if the silence isn't uncomfortable enough, I'd like to invite you now to turn to your neighbor and share how you have been blessed and how you feel called to use that blessing to glorify God. Take a moment to do that. And you don't have to whisper. are blessed because we are God's people, because the faith has been handed down to us by those who have been faithful through the ages. Let us stand together and profess our faith with the words of the Nicene Creed, which we found on page 15 of your prayer. <clears throat> 